Hi, this is Rick Pedley, and welcome to PK Safety. Today we're going to be looking at the Ray Systems Toxi Ray 2. It's a reusable personal toxic gas monitor. We'll be looking at what comes in the box, turning the unit on, uh, talking about a few of the features, and then looking at a couple of the accessories that you might want to purchase with this item. So we'll start by opening the box. So uh, simply slides out. Open the box. And what you get inside first is a calibration and test certificate from Ray Systems indicating that the unit has passed QC and has been calibrated. You get the owner's manual. And we get a warranty card. Pretty standard stuff. Inside we've got the unit itself, a uh, belt clip. This is a wrist lanyard a spare lithium-ion battery, there is one already in the unit, and the calibration adapter should uh, you want to calibrate it. So we'll pull the unit out. Um, Toxy Ray 2 is going to have the sensor right at the front. It's going to have a loud high decibel alarm here. This is the on-off switch. A digital display a readout showing you digitally the uh, percent PPM of CO, in this case carbon monoxide. This is pretty much the same for all the other instruments. And then uh, at the top here, very uh, bright LED. In the back, I have a ring you can use for that light lanyard we were just uh, looking at. And also an alligator clip. Now this alligator clip has serrated edges, stainless steel, quite heavy duty. You put this on your belt, your hard hat, your shirt, whatever. Or you can swap this out, single screw, put on the, uh, the belt clip if that's the way you'd like to use that thing. So um, to turn the unit on, we're gonna, this single button here, we're going to press and hold it. And it just takes a couple seconds and it starts uh, uh, warming itself up. Now there's a 10 second uh, countdown. I don't know if you'll be able to see that on the video here. But it's counting down from 10 to uh, 0. Um, once that's done, it's going to be ready to go. It's going to uh, give you an indication of the LED, the high decibel alarm, and the unit vibrates. So in case you're in a uh, in a quite noisy situation, the vibration alarm should be able to help you as well as see the uh, see the LED. Now we're under the lights here, so that LED doesn't look as bright as uh, as, it, as it might in person. And so the unit now says zero ppm. We're in we're in clean air. Um, to turn the unit off, it's exactly the op uh, reverse of that. We'll do that in a second. The um, uh, because you're turning this unit on and off, as opposed to all the, the types of things we're competing against that are really disposable, that have pre-programmed endpoints, you can use this until the batteries run out, in which case you replace it, or the sensor runs out, at which time you probably toss the unit. The sensor costs basically as much as the unit. Um, so in, in, what we'll do now is just uh, hold this button down, and you'll see it's going to count down, essentially. It's going to beep, beep. It's five seconds flashing as well as beeping and then the unit is turned off. So what this means you can you know keep this uh, in someplace clean hopefully um, uh, until you need to use it then you turn it on and it's good to go. Uh, it's not running all the time. This is going to save the sensor, it's going to save the batteries. So now let's look at a couple of accessories you can get with this unit if, it, uh, if you want. Um, let's see, first thing is going to be a rubber boot. Now this uh, there's a flexible rubber material, and you can slide the unit into it. It'll uh, help protect it from bumps and stuff. It's going to be used in a real uh, uh, rough environment. Might, might not be a bad idea. Uh, putting it on is a little bit of a, of a chore, but once on there, it will not go anywhere. So that, uh, a lot of people like to use that. The other is a dust filter. Now this dust filter uh, goes over the sensor. So the uh, if you're using this in a di really dirty environment, the uh, sensor, you know, get get caked up with stuff, you can, you can replace this very easily. There's four screws in the back. Undo those screws, open the unit up, put the new, new uh, uh, filter over the top of it, and you're good to go. And then also, um, you know, should it become necessary, depending on how much you're using it, um, other batteries are available. These two lithium-ion batteries, that is the unit, the one that comes in it, and the spare should last you the two years that this sensor is intended to last. Sometimes the sensors go longer than that, so you've got that. So there you go. That's what comes in the box. Thanks very much.